Mr. Speaker, I rise today to update this Honorable House about the island's supply of bananas. Mr. Speaker, I am sure that you would have seen or heard the various news articles highlighting the shortage of supply of bananas. I would like to provide honorable members a more comprehensive explanation. Mr. Speaker, despite the fact that we can grow just about anything here, and there seems to be bananas, mainly Cavendish type, grown in many corners of the island, we are just not able to grow enough economically to accommodate the demand of this nutritious and delicious fruit for our local and visiting population. Further, our Bermuda-grown bananas are susceptible to major losses caused by storm damage. We have estimated that upwards of 90 percent of the local banana crops were decimated when Hurricane Umberto, a Category 3 storm, brushed the island last year, September. It is likely that it will take some 18 months for full recovery. Mr. Speaker, bananas are not just po a popular fruit, but considered a major staple for consumers. You may be aware that imported bananas have until recently been the number one selling item for many grocery stores. Unfortunately, over the past year, there have been, at times, very hard to find. And at the moment, there are none to be found on most of our shelves. This is due to the continued contamination of pests being found in imported banana shipments. Mr. Speaker, the issue first came to the attention of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources in November 2018 when many bunches of imported bananas were found to be infested with two insect pests, scale and mealybug. The bananas are grown in South and Central America and shipped to Bermuda through U.S. suppliers. Further inspections of local distributors and grocery stores at the time revealed the infestation with these pests to be widespread throughout all imported bananas. Infested fruit were immediately removed from the shelves of grocery stores and destroyed as a result of the presence of these insect pests. Mr. Speaker, the number of live mealybug and mealybug eggs found was alarmingly high and posed a serious risk to Bermuda's banana industry, local crops, and ornamental plants. The scale insect infestation was equally concerning, with live scale and eggs were detected on all parts of imported banana fruit. Samples of the mealybug were sent to the Division of Plant Industry in Gainesville, Florida, for identification. The mealybug was identified as a species that is not known to occur in Bermuda. Mr. Speaker, plant biosecurity is of paramount importance to any country to safeguard food security, sustainability of agriculture and horticultural production, and also protects the livelihood of farmers and landscapers. As a result of the tireless efforts of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources Plant Protection Laboratory, Bermuda is still free from many devastating pests, which are causing serious damage and losses elsewhere. It is essential to continue to prevent the entry establishment and spread of these invasive pests as they could wreak havoc in Bermuda. Mr. Speaker, mealybugs feed off of Bermuda's important agricultural crops, bananas, fruit trees, as well as ornamental plants such as hibiscus, rose, croton, and palm species. Exposing these pests to the local environment could lead to their establishment on locally grown bananas, fruit trees, ornamentals, and other food crops, which will result in the reduction of yield and crop quality. Further negative impacts on local plants can occur due to the transition, transmission I'm sorry, of viruses, leading to deformed produce, field yield reduction, decline, and death. Even when an insect, insect pest is already present in Bermuda, our resident populations of similar insects have not been exposed to the viruses that can be transmitted by these insects. Mealybug and scale are notoriously difficult to control with pesticides, as both insects have a waxy covering which protect them from contact pesticides. And both pests naturally hide in the crevices and cracks of plant material 
which makes it difficult for pesticide to reach and effectively treat them. An, an alternative control, namely the use of systemic pesticides, can result in the accumulation of pesticides in fruit and consumable plant parts, exposing the consumer to these chemicals. Mr. Speaker, currently, local importers of bananas are required to have their product pre-inspected in the country of origin prior to export. Upon arrival into Bermuda, each banana shipment is then inspected by trained DNR staff, frequently cover the DNR personnel, inspect boxes which are marked as inspected overseas only to encounter pests on these bananas. Therefore, despite the significant screening efforts of the department and local importers, shipments continue to arrive on the island infested with live mealybug and scale in all stages of their life cycle. Mr. Speaker, however, we are confident that we can work with importers to implement a solution causing minimal inconvenience to the public. DENR has been working together with local importers to find ways to continue to import bananas while reducing the additional costs importers have incurred through the, the necessary inspection process, which screen the shipments for these pests. Proposed solutions include reviewing current inspection techniques with our overseas counterparts to ensure that only clean shipments arrive in Bermuda, developing a system to source clean produce directly from banana growers, developing a system of treatment or filing for all imported bananas, and developing a system of on island, so sorry, developing a system on island to treat incoming shipments through the use of consumer safe products and treatment techniques that effectively control pest infestations without damaging the products. Mr. Speaker, DENR has made it a priority to help facilitate Bermuda's importers and grocery stores to bring in clean sources of bananas as fast as possible so as to minimize further shortages for the public. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.